When writing styles for your components, you might prefer to use SAS over plain CSS. If you're not aware of it, SAS is an extension to CSS that provides powerful features like variables, functions, and other operations that allow you to more easily build complex features into your project. In this video, we're going to take a look at a basic example of using SAS in our application. You're most welcome to skip this video if SAS is not your cup of tea, but it's also good if you are aware of how SAS works in Next.js. The very first thing you need to do before working with SAS is to install it. So in the terminal, run the command yarn add SAS. Now let's use one of the SAS features, which is variables. In the styles folder, I'm going to create a partial. Now there are two file extensions supported, namely SAS and SESS. I'm going to stick to SESS for this video. So the file name is underscore colors.sess. This is where we define the colors for our application. I'm going to define two colors, orange and purple. Now that we have the colors, let's create style sheets similar to the ones we have from the previous video, but this time with SESS. So in the styles folder, create two new files, about.module.scss and contact.module.scss. So we are once again creating CSS modules but with SAS support. In both the files, I'm simply going to redefine the highlight class using the color variables. So in about.module.css, we're going to import colors, which is our partial file here, where we have just defined the colors. I'm going to create a class, highlight SESS, where color is orange. I'm going to copy this code, paste it in contact.module.scss and change the color to purple. Now in the about and contact pages, let's modify the import statement and the class name. Import styles from about.module.scss and the class name is highlight SESS. Similarly, in contact.js, contact.module.scss, styles.highlightscss. If we now restart our app and head to the browser, the about page color should be orange and the contact page color should be purple. So if you're someone who works with SAS, this is pretty much how you go about it. Install the SAS module and create your SAS or SESS files. All right, the last bit in this styling section is to learn how to use a CSS in JS solution with Next.js. Let's take a look at that in the next video. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.